Hi, good morning. This is Percy of Percy Deals. Dahil alam na natin paano gamitin ang defibrillator at ang ECG, ngayon naman ay paano i-interpret ang ECG. Yes, malalaman natin ngayon paano mag-interpret ng ECG. So, let's watch it! Okay guys, first we will discuss the normal heart's conduction system. The cardiac impulse originates in the sinus atrial node or the SA node. It is found at the right atrium of the heart. This is also known as the natural pacemaker of the heart because this is where the beginning of the conduction takes place. This causes the atria to contract and pump blood from the atria to the ventricles. It is recorded on an EKG or ECG as a P wave. From the SA node, the impulse will then go to the AV node or the atrioventricular node. And this can be found between the border of the right atrium and the right ventricle. It is also known as the gatekeeper of the heart. The atrial impulse is delayed in the atrioventricular node or the AV node to allow the ventricular chambers to fill. The impulse will then go through the bundle of his and will be divided into two for the right and the left. And this is the right and left bundle branches. And from there, it will extend within the apex of the heart, and that will be called the Purkinje fibers. This causes the ventricles to pump blood out of the heart and the body. It is recorded on the EKG as the QRS complex. After depolarization, repolarization follows. Or, after contraction, relaxation follows. The relaxation is recorded as the T wave. So, let us review. First, the conduction of the heart starts at the SA node, goes to the AV node, then the bundle of his to the right and left bundle branches, then to the Purkinje fibers. As we have mentioned, the SA node is the natural pacemaker of the heart because it conducts impulses spontaneously and it generates about 60 to 100 beats per minute. The AV node, bundle of his, bundle branches, and the Purkinje fibers also generates impulses but in a lower rate. That is, if the SA node fails or there is a block or weak conduction, the AV node then kicks in and generates about 40 to 60 bits per minute. And that also includes the bundle of his that generates 40 to 60 bits per minute. And if the AV node or the bundle of his fails, the left and right bundle branches and the Purkinje fibers generate their own impulse at about 20 to 40 bits per minute. As a review, the SA node generates 60 to 100 bits per minute, AV node and the bundle of his generates 40 to 60 bits per minute, bundle branches and the Purkinje fibers generates 20 to 40 bits per minute. So now, let us talk about ECG or the EKG. This is an example. It has different parts. The first bump that we can see is the P wave followed by the QRS complex and the last bump is the T wave. Isa-isahin natin guys. Ang P wave is the atrial depolarization. During this time, the two atria are contracting. The QRS is the ventricular depolarization. During this time, the ventricles are contracting. The T wave is the ventricular repolarization. During this time, the ventricles are relaxing. So guys, lagi nating tatandaan na pag may depolarization, meron talagang kasunod na repolarization. Or kung merong contraction, merong kasunod na relaxation. Pero napapansin nyo ba guys na merong atrial depolarization? Nasaan ang atrial repolarization or ang relaxation? Meron yan guys. Meron ding atrial repolarization guys. Kaya lang sa sobrang taas o sobrang lakas ng QRS complex ay natatakpan siya. Ang atrial repolarization ay nasa loob ng QRS complex. So ngayon guys, alamin naman natin ang mga segments and intervals. Meron tayong PR interval, PR segment, QRS complex, ST segment, and QT interval. Pero for now, we will talk about the basics. Pag-usapan muna natin ngayon ang PR interval at ang QRS segments. Dahil ito ang pinaka-basic na pag-interpret ng ECG natin. So ngayon, makikita natin dito ang blank strip. Meron itong mga boxes. May maliliit at merong malaki. In every big box, merong limang mga maliliit na boxes. Each small boxes ay may 0.04 seconds. At kung ang big box merong 5 small boxes, ibig sabihin, ang big box ay may 0.20 seconds. So guys, ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay ang 6 second method. Ang una natin gagawin, hanapin natin ang P-wave. Dapat, 
merong P-Wave at dapat ang direksyon ng P-Wave ay pataas. Kung ang P-Wave natin ay pababa, ito ay junctional rhythm. Ang susunod ay ang pagsukat natin ng PR interval. Ito ang PR interval. Ang normal value nito ay 0.12 seconds to 0.20 seconds. Pag sumobra ito sa 0.20 seconds or mas mahaba kesa sa isang big box, ito ay nag indicate ng heart block. Tingnan naman natin ang QRS complex. Bilangin din natin kung ilang small boxes ang meron in between the QRS complex. Ang normal value natin ay 0.06 seconds to 0.12 seconds or a maximum of 3 small boxes. At pag sumobra ito sa 3 small boxes, this indicates PVCs. Ngayon, tignan naman natin ang rhythm ng strip nito. Ito ba ay regular rhythm or irregular rhythm? Madali lang naman natin malaman kung ito ay regular or irregular. Susukatin lang natin ang distance ng R kung ito ay pantay. Pwede tayong gumamit ng ruler or ng index card. Pinakamadali, gumamit ng index card. I-mark lang natin yung una at ang pangalawang R. Tapos i-compare na natin sa mga sumunod na mga R's. At pag ito ay pantay-pantay, ibig sabihin ito ay regular rhythm. Pag hindi pantay ang distansya ng mga R, ito ay irregular rhythm. Bilangin naman natin ngayon ang heart rate. Paano nga ba natin malalaman o bilangin ang heart rate gamit ang ECG strip? Unang-una, dapat meron tayong 6 second strip. Dahil ang gagamitin natin method ngayon ay ang 6 second method. Paano natin malalaman kung ang ECG strip natin ay 6 seconds? Makikita natin dito sa ECG strip na ito na merong line indicators sa ibabaw. Sa gitna ng bawat line na yan ay merong 15 big boxes. Kung meron tayong tatlong lines, ibig sabihin from line 1 to line 3 meron tayong 30 boxes. At yan ay ang 6 second strip natin. Bakit nga ba 30 big boxes ang 6 seconds? Diba, ang isang box natin ay merong 0.20 seconds, so ang 30 big boxes ay equivalent to 6 seconds. So ngayon, bilangin na natin kung ilang R ang meron sa loob ng 3 lines na ito at i-multiply natin by 10. So try natin sa strip na ito. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So times natin by 10 equals 60 bits per minute. Paano naman kung wala tayong 6 second ECG strip? Paano natin malalaman ang heart rate ng ECG natin? Don't worry guys, may paraan din tayo para dyan. Ang tawag sa method na ito ay ang big box method. Gagamitin natin ang big box ngayon. Sa method na ito, meron tayong formula na dapat tatandaan. Ito ang 300 divided by big boxes inside the 2 hours. So, sa strip na ito, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 na big boxes. Gamitin na natin ang formula. So, 300 divided by 5 big boxes and we have 60 bits per minute. Pero ang method na ito ay magagamit lang natin kung ang rhythm natin ay regular. So, pag irregular ang rhythm natin, ang gagamitin nating method ay ang 6 second method. So, guys, Ngayon, alam na natin paano mag-interpret ng ECG strip. Napakadali, di ba? So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!